Windows Calculator, often just referred to as Calculator, is an application included in all, all versions of Microsoft Windows. Again, for Windows 7, it's had another reboot. So let's have a look at it. So if I come back to the Orb, again, you could find it in the Accessories menu, but it's far easier just to type uh, Calc or Calculator. There it appears, loaded up, and it just looks like a very simple calculator. So let's just use it to plus 3 equals, there we go, 5. Also, rather than just actually typing the particular numbers, I could use the numbers on the keyboard. So I could go 2 plus uh, 3 and then enter equals 5. So familiar with a basic calculator, but what you can also do is you can perhaps have a look at it in a scientific format. So now we've got our uh, sine, cosine, tan, uh, using pi squared to the power of, a lot more functionality. Uh, again, you need to be more familiar with the mathematics behind this uh, as opposed to being able to use Windows. But let's have a look. We also now have a programmer calculator. Uh, quite a, a different, uh, perhaps, functionality. You probably wouldn't necessarily need this, but for example, if I wanted to have the number 128, and that's it in our decimal format. But if I wanted to see it in our uh, hexadecimal format, that's actually 80. If I want to actually see it as a computer understands 128, if I click on the word byte, you can see there we go in the bottom. That's how a computer would interpret uh, 128. So we have a programmer format. OK. Let's now go to statistics. So we have a number of symbols associated more with statistical data. The uh, nice bit of functionality though that has come with this is the ability to do unit conversion. So uh, if I select unit conversion, what I can now do is I can uh, convert units from one to another. So for example, if I want to look at temperature, I know that it is going to be 28 degrees Celsius here, but when I speak to my mum in the UK, she actually only understands Fahrenheit. So if I click on Fahrenheit, I can say, oh, OK, mum, it's going to be 82.4, a little bit accurate, uh, Fahrenheit. So there are other uh, conversions that are available, area, energy, volume, weight, mass. So we've got the ability to do conversions. What else do we have in here? So we've got date calculations. Date calculations, very, very useful if you want to know how many days away is uh, uh, some sort of activity. So today's date is the 23rd of the 4th, but uh, my daughter is looking forward to uh, Christmas, let's say. So let's go to Christmas. Counting down the days till when Santa Claus arrives. So we've got uh, December 25th. And if I can click calculator, I can tell her that it's 246 more sleeps until Christmas, or eight months and two days. So there's the ability to do uh, date calculations. And then we also have worksheets. And worksheets has got uh, a number of pre-configured worksheets for you. Fuel economy, but the mortgage one's quite interesting. Uh, perhaps if I've just purchased a price for a, a house for 450000 I'm going to put a down payment of 50000 over 25 years with an interest rate of 7%. I now know that my monthly payments will be $2,827 per month. So yeah, so uh, the calculator, a lot more added functionality than previous versions. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the standard view, and don't forget. Yep, you've got all of these calculators at the uh, to help you do some fast calculations. Let's just put it back to basic.